Now, let me start off by saying this. I get why so many people don't like Roman Reigns. You frankly have to be kind of stupid to not see the similarities in career paths, career arcs, and protectionism within the WWE that was exhibited with John Cena being exhibited in Roman Reigns. All those elements are clearly at play. And to suggest otherwise is stupid. Because there are so many things that when you see Roman Reigns, you could see there's the possibility and potential for more. Unless you just really want to hate on the dude and run him down no matter what. Um, and he represents similar to Cena, like everything that you think is wrong with professional wrestling, which is a very narrow-minded, uh, short-sighted version of the actuality of the problems. Um, but those similarities are there. You know, the emphasis of, you know, some are booing, some are cheering, there's pandemonium here tonight, and he gets a reaction, and that's great and awesome. Yes, I get WWE has spun them over the years to convince themselves they're in the reaction business to the point where they now are in the reaction business, where even if they pack, try to pack somebody as a hero, if everybody boos them off of the damn screen and out of the ring, the WWE still giggly tits about it because they say as long as you react, that means you still care. As long as you still care, you'll still watch. You know, that's how bad it got with Cena over the years. The WWE convinced themselves that that's an effective business model. So even over the years, as Cena was continued to pound on people's throats and the audience continued to go away in droves and did over the years, um, they adopted this mentality of the reaction matters. No, reactions are great. Reactions can mean they care, but you can also get that X-Pac, get the fuck out of my ring, get the fuck off my TV type of heat. Sorry, X-Pac, you know, it's a term for a reason. But if the guys don't get the right type of reactions for the right ways, for the right reasons at the right time, then frankly, it's all for naught. And you're just spinning your wheels. And lo and behold, what do you know? WWE is just spinning their wheels. So after a decade plus of the reign of terror that was this, the John Cena of the world and the Breakfast Club and all the other bullshit that went around, you know, before and during Cena's reign, you also had the reign of terror of God and all that crap. I could see the writing on the wall as to why so many people fear the same thing is coming in Roman Reigns, because it probably is. And it, you can already see elements of that at play. And it's just, you know, you already had a decade of it. Now do you want another decade of a less charismatic Samoan version of it. And that's what it comes down to. But what I don't get is why so many people hate Roman Reigns to the point now where they're actually getting behind and cheering Braun Strowman. This just seems stupid on so many fucking levels. Number one, if you're not a fan of the bigger muscle dudes and you hate the fact that you believe Roman Reigns is only getting pushed because of his size, why in the fuck would you sit there and go with fucking Captain Tinder and his fucking jacked up ass? He's bigger, slower, and less athletic than Roman Reigns. Your hate for Roman Reigns has gotten to the level where you will back an even bigger muscle mark type of Vince McMahon type of guy? To me, that's just crazy. Or if you sit there and say that Roman's character sucks. Okay, how many times have we seen the Braun Strowman type of monster be pushed out by the WWE over the years? But Roman's character is the one that sucks? It does. But what the fuck does that make Braun Strowman's? A lot of you will sit there and point out that Roman stinks on the mic. Yeah, he does, especially if you ask him to do too much. But frankly, sometimes, even when he keeps it short and sweet, two, three, four sentences at the very most, and it is actually good, Some of you, a lot of you still crap on it anyways just because it's Roman, and it's fun to crap on Roman. But in general, he is not very good on the microphone. He stinks on the mic. But frankly, number one, why is it so important for Roman Reigns to have mic skills when so many of you, like so many other guys, that absolutely blow chunks on the frickin' mic? And number two, if you think Roman Reigns sucks on the mic, why the fuck would you cheer Braun Strowman, who has to be far worse on the mic? That makes absolutely no fucking sense to me. What this is also almost similar to me is with John Cena and the Randy Orton dynamic. 
For so many years, John Cena was a representation of the corporate suck of WWE, this vanilla white bread babyface, the same shit, he always goes over, LOL, Cena wins, Breakfast Club rules, bitches, all this other crap. To where so many wrestling fans, and a lot of you know you fucking did, viewed Orton as counterculture to that, and he viewed him as, in many ways, the anti-Cena. Which, from a very early point, basically from this show's beginning, going back to the old Off the Road Show channel, back in December of 2010 and on, when it wasn't so cool to say so, I was the one pointing out, along with maybe some others, but me especially, and me powerfully and convincingly, just how ridiculous this assertion was. That just because Randy Orton wasn't John Cena didn't make it any better. In fact, it was fucking worse. Because Randy Orton really wasn't much better on the ring, and he most certainly was lacking in the personality category compared to a John Cena, whether you like John Cena's personality or not. At least there was some type of charisma there. There was nothing there with Randy Orton. At least every once in a while, Cena could pull a good promo out of his ass. Randy Orton most certainly never fucking could, to the point where the WWE for a decade has had to hide him because he sucks so bad on the fucking mic and he never got any better at it. So sitting there and... Booing a John Cena, but being behind a Randy Orton, when Randy Orton's getting almost every bit the push and the force that a fucking John Cena is without the personality or the mic skills to make it a little more palpable. Your hatred for Cena blinded you so badly that you chose a worse alternative to get behind. And that's stupid. The hate is one thing. But to have it blindly guide you in another direction, which is really the same direction, but not as good of a direction of the same direction, that's just fucking crazy. I'm going to reach that same point here with Roman Reigns and Braun fucking Strowman. People chaining, thank you, Strowman, thank you, Strowman, thank you for fucking what? I mean, my God, I get again the whole fear of the Cena 2.0 crap because it's there. There's so many elements at play. It would take a blind man not to fucking see them. But we shit on Roman Reigns, even though he's clearly progressed as an overall performer over the past four years, and he actually has some decent matches in the ring. I would argue as many good matches in the ring as Seth Rollins, and most certainly um, more decent to good matches than fucking Dean Ambrose's wash your asses. But yep, Roman Reigns is the one we hate. Why? Because he was viewed as the epitome of the WWE's performance center model where uh, Seth Rollins was Tyler Black and Dean Ambrose was John Moxley. And oh my God, get the fuck over it. Not everybody needs to spend eight or ten years in the fucking independent scene. It's nice to have guys with that background, but it's nice to have some fresher faces that don't. And if anything, it's kind of cool that a Roman Reigns has gotten to a point where he's gotten here. The whole shit about talking about he's forced, if anybody's being forced right now, is fucking Braun Strowman, not Roman Reigns. Furthermore, if we want to go back to the Shield days, the guy who technically got forced first was Dean Ambrose. Then we saw the shift to Roman Reigns, but lo and behold, wouldn't you know, who's the one that fucking walked out of WrestleMania 31 with the goddamn title? It was Seth Rollins. He was the one associated with Triple H. He was the one that turned his back on the shield. He's the one that got the featured spots first. So don't give me that forced bullshit. It's like when you talk about how forced Cena was, Orton was fucking forced far earlier than Cena ever was. See the reign of terror of Orton in 2004 is a perfect fucking example until Triple H knocked him down several fucking notches. Sometimes again, though, this is where that hate and that blind hate just becomes stupid and ridiculous. If you don't like what Roman Reigns represents, then you shouldn't like what Braun Strowman represents. If you're going to boo the brakes off of Roman Reigns, then you should be trying to boo Braun Strowman out of the fucking building. Because he's worse. I could see if this was Rusev. Rusev's a better talent than Braun Strowman. That's for goddamn sure. And I would argue a better all-around talent when you factor in Mike skills in particular and personality than a Roman Reigns. If this was Rusev, i say more fucking power to you. But it's Braun Strowman. Y'all seriously have gotten to the fucking point where you hate Roman Reigns so much? 
that you are getting behind and pushing for a dude that is technically an even bigger personification of the muscle machine of the WWE than the Samoan you love to hate so goddamn much. It's unbelievable and it's stupid. At the end of the day, like who you want, hate who you fucking want. Who really gives a shit? But it doesn't mean that I won't sit there and point out the stupidity of it all. Just like I have for years with the people that hated Cena so much but thought Orton was so fucking great. Or even now, the people that sit there and do all their videos talking about how much Cena fucking sucks and how shitty he is. But it'll turn around and talk about how breathtakingly spectacular Brock Lesnar's boring fucking ass is. Oh, he shows up once every three months. Oh, he does two moves. He's got Paul Heyman's ball ass talking for him. He talks about Suplex City and eat, sleep, conquer, repeat. Ah, fuck off. Again, another example of we hate Cena so much, we choose an alternative, and the alternative is even worse. And big fight, feel or not, at the end of the day, Brock Lesnar is much more limited as a performer than Randy Orton in terms of a wrestling sense, let alone a John Felix Anthony Cena. But yet so many will make so many lame-ass excuses and defenses of Brock Lesnar. It's sickening, all because they hate Cena so goddamn much. Yes, Cena is a rep representation of so many things that went wrong with the WWE over the past decade. And when people involved with WWE try to sell this BS narrative about how Cena is the best of all time, it makes me want to fucking vomit. How the fuck can you be the best of all fucking time when during your time at the top you lost almost half of your goddamn audience? That makes no sense whatsoever. It's just like when people sit there and try to defend the WWE saying Shawn Michaels was the greatest Super Bowl superstar of all time what ridiculous political bullshit is this he was at the top during one of the worst periods of the wwf when the wwf was at its hottest two different times one he was in a tag team with marty Jannetty, and the other period he wasn't there other than the occasional commissioner type of general manager type of role the company got a lot better because he passed over to Austin, and there was Austin and Rock and Taker and so many other fucking dudes that took the company to new heights. And Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels got the fuck out of the way. It's just unbelievable. If you hate Roman Reigns, why in the fuck would you support Braun Strowman? Are you idiotically going to allow your blind hate for Reigns cloud your judgment so much that just like with Cena and Orton, you're going to back an even worse dude? And even if you say it's only for the period of time that he's aligned in the a program with Roman Reigns, maybe it is, but maybe it's not. I just don't fucking get it. And I think it's absolutely stupid.